everyone. It's Carol's art room today. I am going to do a reverse dip inspired by Fiona. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's been doing a few dips and reverse dips that I saw on Facebook and I watched her video, so I'm gonna give it a try. Wish me luck. So I've got a couple of small canvases here. And I've got a plastic bag. It's like a freezer baggie that I cut in half. So I'm just putting down some uh, white paint. Just trying to judge how much paint she put down. I don't think it was too thin. But you have to have enough on here because I think the plastic bag would pull some off. So I've got to be generous here, I think. I'll do my sides later. It's not too thin, it's just pretty much the normal consistency. I don't think you want this process to be too thin. Okay, so I hope that's enough paint. So I've got some gold by Artist Loft. I've got some uh, Conacridone Magenta Liquitex um, Basics. I've got Cerulean Blue Artist Loft. And I've got a bit of uh, Phthalo Blue Liquitex. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Phthalo Blue. I think I'll do the, this blue next. And I'll do the uh, magenta. Do some gold. Probably not enough gold, but I think you could probably go over this twice. So I've got my plastic bag. I'm 
I'm just going to place it on top. And just gently, I think gently, push it down. Pardon the noise, my husband's constructing in the basement. I haven't seen what he's been doing down there because I've been up to here without going in the basement because of my broken foot. Pretty soon though, I did some stairs the other day. So I'm anxious to see he's building a bathroom down there. I'm just gently pushing on it. There's some little air bubbles I'm going to try and push out. So, there is still some air here. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. If it doesn't work out, try again. So I think she gently took the corners, pulled them up like this. I do have some silicone in two colors. This is just a uh, small 6x6 canvas, I think. One more. It's pretty. It's a big puddle right there. I don't want to dip anymore. This over here. What I think I'd like to do is try and blow this side out. It's not a dip anymore, is it? Well, what should I do? What should I do? I like this little part here. I just stuck my arm in there. It's good this is a painting shirt.
maybe I, next time I think I'll put more white paint down, but I think I like it. Yeah, blow this down. There, like that. Okay, I'm going to leave it. So that's one. I'm going to do another one. This time, I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to reverse the colors. more paint. that's enough. I hope it's enough. I'm trying to speak up louder for you guys. Sometimes I just talk to myself. Half of the bag. I better move this because I'm gonna have to put my plastic bag there. All right. Last time I put the dark, started dark and went light. This time I'm gonna start light and go dark. Not a lot of gold showed up in that, so I'm. Don't think it will on this one either, but one looks like it has more paint. <clears throat> This is a very interesting technique. I haven't tried the other dip yet. I'll try that once too, but I thought I'd try this one first. See how it goes.
Oh, I think I've squished some color out. Anyway, this is going to be bigger than that one, I'm pretty sure. That's okay. They don't have to be exactly the same. Oh. Wow. I'm not going to even do anything to that. I like it just the way it is, except for I want to, this is really thick here. I might blow a little bit of this out. Cool, cool, cool. I like it better than that one. Oh, I think I'm going to do that one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it. We'll see. way this should go. Uh, well, this one. Hmm. This way, maybe. This way. There. That's it, I'm going to leave it. I probably could make it bigger, but... I like it. So there's two. Same colors in each, and two different results. This had a little more paint on it than this one. I think I'm, I'd love to maybe try this one again. But I think this video has gone long enough. I think I'm just going to leave them. And um, I'll show you this one. And 
I'll show you this one. I wonder if I can blow any more on this one. Once it starts to dry, you're done. Yeah. It's done. All right. I think it's fine. All right. Thanks for watching. Come back soon to my art room. Please subscribe to my channel and like and comment below. I love hearing every, what everybody has to say. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Okay, I decided to dip it again. That was the first one. And I dipped it with the second one. It's plastic. And it's very cool. Look at that. It almost looks like a balloon dip. I'm gonna leave it, I love it. And that was with the second plastic from my first one. Just probably need a little bit of more white here because I pulled some of the white paint off. This one, I'm not even going to blow, oops, or anything. There. I don't know. Does she go this way? There. I'll hold this one up. I like this one better. I bet any money you could do a balloon dip on top of this on top of some paint like this. Anyway, I'll let this dry. See how it comes out. Very pretty. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll put the dried results at the end. Hi everyone. Carol back again. An update. I did this one earlier and I didn't like how it was drying. It was, it was making some funny marks and things so I didn't really like it so I scraped it all off. And I'm gonna do another one. Hopefully this one's better. Better. I think the paint might have been too much in one little area and it was cracking. Anyway, I'll give it another whirl. the same colors that I did in the other pour.
other one I did. It's almost dry. It's not quite dry yet. But I like this one. So I do it similar to that. Obviously, it won't be exactly the same. <clears throat> going to use more of the lighter blue. some gold. So I've got gold, uh, quadacridone magenta, solarium blue, and the other one was a phalo blue. Thinner than the other plastic, so I'll give it, give it a whirl. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. paint. There's a lot of paint in here. So you just take up a corner, another corner, this corner, this corner, That's awesome. Just want to level it out a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that looks better. Look at that. I don't even have to touch it. It's just a little bit of weight. It pulls a lot of the weight off. I think the thinner paper seemed better. This was a, um, not a bag that was for a freezer, but it was like a liner bag for the freezer, so it's a thinner plastic. I guess it doesn't matter what plastic you use. <clears throat> Whatever you think works. I 
I just uh, watched Fiona. She did a great job. She does these. That's where I got the idea from. I saw her on Facebook. This one, see, <clears throat> this one is good because it has less, less of the dark blue. So same colors. This one made some purple with the magenta and the blue together, made some purple. There's the pink. They're awesome. I was gonna make a stem. <clears throat> no, I don't know. I'll just leave it. I could stamp this plastic somewhere. Look at that. See, it's very light, this plastic, very light. All right, that's it. I'll add this to the other video and you'll see three. One that I took away to make this one. All right. Have a great day. See the dried results at the end. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I just thought I would uh, do a little video of my dried results of my dips. Close up of this one. They dried nice and smooth. You can still see a little bit of the texture from the bags, but that's okay. I love this one. It almost looks like a leaf, shape of a leaf. The colors are great, the exact same colors in both. <clears throat> you can, can't see the gold in this one very much. A little bit, but the uh, magenta and blue made some purple. I guess because I, I think I dipped this one twice. And this one was just the once. Anyway, there you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Bye-bye.